Mendel was an Austrian monk who lived from 1822 to 1884. Mendel grew up in rural Austria, but left at the age of 11 to go to secondary school. Mendel excelled in math and physics and continued his education. In 1843, against the wishes of his father, Mendel began to study to be a monk. Mendel began to teach at a secondary school at the monastery in Brno, Austria. It is during this time that he started to research how traits are passed in plants. During the 1800s, most people thought that an offspring's traits were the result of a blending of parent traits. Mendel chose to study how different traits in pea plants are passed from one generation to the next. Mendel studied seven different traits and thousands of pea plants for eight years. Mendel crossed purebred pea plants that had different forms of a trait. For example, a purple flowered plant would be crossed with a white flowered plant. This first cross is known as the pea or the parent generation. The offspring of the pea generation are called the F1 generation. Mendel observed that all of the plants in the F1 generation had only one form of the trait. In this example, all of the offspring had purple flowers, which is called the dominant trait. The white flower trait is lost in this generation, and this is called the recessive trait. Then, Mendel allowed the F1 plants to self-pollinate. Their offspring are called the F2 generation. Most of the offspring had the same form of the trait as the F1 generation, but the lost trait from the pea generation reappeared in about one-fourth of the pea plants. So, three-fourths of the F2 plants had purple flowers, while one-fourth had white flowers. Mendel repeated his experiments and analyzed other pea plant traits like plant height, seed color, seed shape, pod shape, and flower position. Mendel concluded that individual traits are controlled by distinct factors that we now call genes. These genes are passed randomly to offspring and some forms are dominant while others are recessive and will be covered when the dominant version is present. He also discovered that traits are passed on independently from other traits. For example, the flower color does not also determine the shape of the seeds. Mendel did share his findings with the scientific community. However, the importance of his discoveries was not fully appreciated until about 30 years later. Mendel is now credited as being the father of genetics as his research and discoveries are fundamental to understanding heredity. <laughs>